Hey everybody, how's it going? Is it a coincidence that right as this showed up in Paul's queue that he decided to go on vacation? Yeah, apparently he's got a vacation next week, and I found out about it the day that this ended up in his queue. Imagine that. Anyway, so um, what I wanted to discuss today was something that happened about a week and a half ago at one of the repair shops that I visited in Massachusetts. It was in Salem, Massachusetts. It was actually in the parking lot where I did that interview with Rich Rebuilds. Now, one of th what happened was he had emailed his senator and she had decided to co-sponsor a right to repair bill right there. Less than 18 hours, got right back to him and said yes. He, you know, he pretty much wrote the email to her while he was taking a shit, his, his, his words, not mine, and hit send, and she said, yeah, absolutely, I'm for this. She had also been by a store once or twice before because she needed something fixed. And this is, uh, some, I'm going to link to it down below. I'm going to link to his video down below so that you can hear it for yourself. Uh, this is a new YouTube video. To my knowledge, he's never posted YouTube videos prior to this one. Uh, and one of the things that wound up showing up in the comments, I, I did this interview with someone a few weeks ago. I'm, I'm forgetting the name and it's pissing me off because I know I'm going to remember when I'm done. It was, the, it was a, the guy that gave Steven Crowder a heart attack. That video is effing hysterical, but it was the guy that gave Steven Crowder a heart attack. Hello. Say hi, Erica. And well, it was the guy that gave Steven Crowder a heart attack. And uh, the video was an interview about right to repair. And in the comments, you know, some people said, well, yeah, he says you shouldn't be apathetic in contact. You're a legislator. You never know if you may make change. Well, this guy's famous. He has a million subscribers on YouTube. He has a business with 14 people. Of course, you know, his words are not the same as mine. Why would he say that? You know, he, he think. And uh, I wasn't saying that everybody would be successful at getting something done if they contact their local politician or that everybody has the ability to. There's only one thing that I can say for certain, which is that your 80% chance of being ignored by your local politician will turn into a 100% chance of being ignored by your local politician if you don't contact them at all. I can't guarantee that you'll have success with a legislator. I can't guarantee that you'll have the same result that he had with, at Salem Texperts. What I can guarantee you is that if you do nothing, that you will have a higher chance of failure than if you do something, than if you write an email, than if you make a phone call, than if you show up in person to speak in person about an issue that matters to you. You think that it's a very low chance, and I understand your cynicism in politics. I do. I understand your cynicism that any of these people give a crap, that any of these people will do anything. But it's that very cynicism that causes people to not engage, and it's that lack of engagement that keeps things as they are. And that's what needs to change. Now, I pushed back a little bit when I did that first interview. Oh, Sa Sam Cedar, that was the guy, Sam Cedar. I knew that, I, I, fuck, sorry, I forgot your name. Anyway, uh, it, when I did that first interview with Sam Cedar, uh, one of the, you know, I pushed back a little bit when someone had said that, well, you know, you, you're famous, you have a million subscribers plus in a business, so it's different with you, because the first person that I got to co-sponsor a piece of legislation was about seven and a half years ago. And seven and a half years ago, this YouTube channel had approximately 1,000 subscribers, maybe 600, maybe 1,000 subscribers, and I got approximately five to 15 views for each video that I uploaded. And I got someone to co-sponsor a bill. It was very unlikely, you know, I, I actually thought it was pointless. It was my friend Jessa Jones that convinced me to actually show up to the legislative building. We, we had an argument over wearing a tie. Gay Gordon Byrne wanted everybody to wear a tie. I don't do ties. I never wear ties, ever. And I, I, there's actually a thumbnail in the video where I, where I went to this legislative building where I'm the only one not wearing a tie. But I spoke to this one particular assembly person and that assembly person said, okay, sure, yeah, I'm gonna co-sponsor it. And I said, just out of curiosity, why did you believe what they told you? And he looks at me and he says, well, you know, nobody explained it the way you did. Now that nobody explained it the way you did, nobody was here to tell me otherwise, now that I, now I know better. And he signed it. He was happy to admit that he was wrong. There was no, you know, back and forth aggravation or anything like that. Just explained it, and that was that. And what I really hope is that the video that I link you to down below gets more people to overcome that cynicism, that you need to be famous, that you need to be rich, that you need to have a bunch of YouTube subscribers, or that you need to have a store that has a dozen or so employees to actually get people to listen to you and to make a difference. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not going to tell you that every single person in this world is going to be a millionaire, that every single person in this world is going to have a successful business, that every single person in this world is going to succeed when they do this. 
The one thing I can promise you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is that if you do something, you are going to be more effective in whatever it is you're trying to do than if you do nothing. Because when you do nothing, what you're doing is you're guaranteeing failure. So I hope that this uh, encourages a little bit more engagement from people on the issue. Not just on this issue, but on any issue that matters to them. Say something. Do something. Be a part of the advocacy that you want to see happen. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Eric has to get a workout in, so we are going to go to the gym. Hello, Erica. What is that? What is this? What is this? Is this a snack? Eric, give me this. Pumpkin, a pumpkin candy sandwich? Are you serious? What? You're supposed to be exercising. Erica, I need you to do a deadlift. Okay. Come here. Ready? Okay. You do deadlift. It's a little too heavy. Because he had too many pumpkin sandwiches. Yeah. What if I told you if you do that deadlift, I'll give you a cookie? But I already got a cookie. You can't bribe me. Wait, who gave you a cookie? Huh? Who, who gave you this cookie? Uh, my friend, Trader Joe's. See? You are something else. It's a sandwich. All right. I will see you all later.